<laughs> no, Barry. Were you waving to Kenny Roberts? Yeah, only Murray could think uh, that a V sign is a wave. <laughs> Great days, right back to the 250cc <laughs> race here at Eastern Creek. I think we both feel this is going to be the race of the meeting. You'd have to say, wouldn't you? I mean, with all the uh, with all the guys that you said, uh, that's Harada, the Japanese guy on a Yamaha. And Yamaha's already got some hot shot. John Kaczynski, I mean, what can you say about Kaczynski? What about Kaczynski? Back from the 500s, can he do it? I would think so. I would think so. I was very surprised that he didn't uh, get the pole position at the end of the day. Another young kid, Romboni, I mean, 21 years old, real little flyer. Carlos Cardas there making the... Oh, we won't forget him last year. He rode with a broken collarbone, pushed Luca Cadalora all the way, and finished second. Yeah, great rider. I mean, it's... Uh, so it looks like Kinney. Yeah. That's Seelenberg. Do you remember Seelenberg? Oh, well, he, rode on, the, he rode on the Suzuki last year, but he's come back to Aprilia and done very well. This surprises me, Jean-Philippe Rougier on the Factory Aprilia. I'm so surprised the Factory Aprilias really aren't going good at the moment. That's Helmut Bradl, the Helmut. We remember a fantastic race here he had here with Cadalora. 18, that's uh, Okada, one of the Japanese hotshots. Oh, he really right. is a flyer, this kiddie. And, uh, uh, 45 years we've been Grand Prix racing. You haven't been, sorry, Barry, you haven't <laughs> been Grand Prix <laughs> racing for 45 oh, years. That's but, uh, Frankie Killy. There's more factory interest in this class than there's ever, ever been, isn't there? Yeah, there is. It's good, you know, because it's a great class. And what you've got to remember is that one of these bikes is basically a 500 engine cut in half. And it's what the, the, the 125 is a 250 engine cut in half. So the, all the development that goes into the 500s also goes into the 250s. That's uh, Paolo Cassoli there on the factory, Jalera. And that's young Gramini. He's the, he's the 125 world champion from last year. And he's really got the hang of a 250 quick. Alberto Pucci he uh, ran in the uh, 250 class last year. Didn't have a lot of luck, broke his uh, arms and God knows what else, but a good, really good runner. But last year it was a tremendous battle between the Hondas and the Aprilias, but now we've got to throw in the Suzukis, got to throw in the Gileras, and uh, I mean, really it opens it up. And of course, Yamaha back for the yeah. first time. Yamaha and the Honda are the most competitive at the moment. I'm just shocked that the Aprilia uh, isn't it's last year you know they were so competitive with the um, with the with the factory bike the factory hondas and uh, as 13 they're unlucky for some and it's certainly been unlucky for loris reggiani i can't imagine why he still uses it last year reggiani at the beginning of the uh, prior to the beginning of the world championship broke his collarbone and really hurt himself badly but uh, he was second in the world championship had he not have done that i reckon he could have uh, actually beaten cadillor in the championship one gets the feeling that aprilia have lost their way a little bit during winter testing and the japanese factory is probably more funding than the italian factory yamaha and honda in particular probably have poured a lot more money into it and i've really realized that aprilia are going to pinch the championship off if they don't watch out i think uh, the both honda and yamaha were just so surprised at how good uh, uh, the Italian Aprilias were. That, um, that's, oh, that's a great shot, isn't it? That's tremendous. Sens there we are, that's the, the rear wheel. I think it's Okada riding the Honda, the Japanese rider, uh, three times world champion, uh, three times uh, Japanese champion Okada. What a perfect view of the <laughs> 250 fielder. They're not racing, but they're still having fun and games behind him already. Now, listen, this is going to be real exciting. If he happens to be up the front and you get some out-breaking rumours, Maneuvers. This is going to be a sensational shot because you're going to be able to see just this kind of state you get yourself in when you're trying to get up the inside or up the outside of somebody going into a hairpin. Uh, so we, hopefully we get some really good shots from this thing. That's on board. It looks like well, that's on board Harada actually. But look at that, Kappa Rossi. What can we say about him in pole position? Max Biaggi replacing Luca Cadalora in the Honda team second fastest. Harada third and John Kaczynski back in the 250cc class. Yeah, Aoki, Romboni, Cardus and Zeelenberg. Okada, Bradle, Jean-Philippe Ruggier and Smith. You see, these are still good blokes on the third row. Right, well, look at the fourth yeah, row. Loris no. Reggiani, Pierre Francesco Killy, Bossard and Dantan. Four good riders. Yeah, incredible. Wakai, he was a flyer last year. Cassily's on. Cassily and Gramini are on the new uh, Jaliras, Alberto Pooch, Jean-Pierre Jonda, Andy Prining, a really good runner right back there. Hengeli, Gurberg, Borja and Protat. 
Jean-Michel Bailey, the ex-motocross star, Kastner, Stephen Whitehouse, he hasn't done bad to qualify, our Australian guy. And still some good men, look, Debbie, way, way back on row nine. This really shows the depth, doesn't it, of uh, the 250 field. There we are, oh, now what's he doing there? He's warming up the rear tyres, isn't he? Well, he's making me dizzy, actually. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he is, he's just sort of flipping it from one side to the other, you know, just to try and get some... 28 laps, uh, track 3.93, and the race distance 110 kilometers. Well, Luca Cadalora, the world champion for the last two years, the winner of the race here at Eastern Creek for the last two years, he's gone to the 500, so we're looking for a new man. Yeah, and we're also looking for a sensible start. <laughs> One has a feeling there's been a little bit of talking going on in the pits. There's up no that doubt about that. There's season. no doubt about I don't believe anybody's going to get caught at the start this time. The red flag's still being shown. But surely when the lights go to red, they are going to be ready. Well, are they going to make the same mistake? We are about to find out. At the start of the 250cc Australian Grand Prix. Looking out the window here, I can see Max Biaggi. He's a little bit back from the line, which is the smooth move. You see the second from the right-hand side. Yeah. Oh, oh, no! no! Kaczynski, I think, Kaczynski. almost stalled it on the line. It's yeah, Biaggi that leads, but a disaster start by Kaczynski. He almost stalled it. And but Her the 21-year-old Italian, Biaggi, leads the way. And Harada made a really bad mistake at the start. Boy, it's back to school. And Caparossi up the front. And, oh, that's... That's Cardus in second place. Oh. If it's, oh, oh, the no. oh, oh, is it, dear me, look at this. The bike is hanging on the back of somebody else's oh, bike. Oh, that, dear, that's oh, the dear. Stuck There's in not the... a lot you can do about that. Oh, that's, 32. I think that's... That's cruel, cruel. Like, that's Stephen that's Wh Bar. Yeah, and I think that's Stephen Whitehouse. That's Stephen Whitehouse. Oh. What can he do? Oh. He's stuck there. Dear, oh, oh dear, dear oh, dear. Your home Grand Prix. Get it off. Get, get it off. This off oh, no, oh, no, he's going to fall off us. Oh, what a disaster for Stephen Whitehouse. Barry, we must talk about that start. Right. Right, let's see the crash. Oh, there. yeah, it was totally not Stephen Whitehouse's fault. I mean, he just caught the bad end of that lot. You know, that was just sad. Somebody ran into the back of him, and, and that was it, really. There's going to be talk about that start again. Isn't oh, it? I thought is. that was worse than I the 125. I, I don't know what was going on there. Uh, well, let's settle down now. We've had a crash. We've had a funny old start, and now we're with the leaders, and Caparossi leads the way. Yeah, Caparossi and Cardus. Cardus has done nothing uh, at the end of last year, and he was really quick in practice, and the reason is, if he does well this weekend, he signs a big contract uh, next week. Loris Caparossi, Cardus. Cardus, Max Biaggi in third place, and there we are. The spirit of freedom, I think it says on Cardus's bike. He's looking for sponsorship, <laughs> but Caparossi, Double 125 CC world champion. Pole position for this race. Leads Harada, the way. Harada up the inside of Biaggi. Whoa, brave move. Didn't quite make it. Ah, this is going to be a superb 250 CC race. As long as Caparossi doesn't get away. And I know Max Biaggi in third place won't allow that to happen. Harada fourth. I think it's Ron Boney. Yeah, it must be Ron Boney. A lot of the top men are there. But where's John Kaczynski? God, he actually almost stopped on yeah, the line. he did. He did. It looked like it did stop. And he clutched it again and got it going. But he'll be kicking himself. Oh, look. That's just getting light coming over the front there. You see um, Caparossi's bike shaking its head. It just gets light as you've got the power and it just shakes its hand about it. Looks well, we're looking, we're looking through the list Thanks at the moment, Barry, and Kaczynski's not in the top 20. Oh, dear, what a disaster, but Caparossi leads, Cardus in second place, Max Biaggi third, Dariano Romboni fourth. This is what we wanted to see. Now we've, got a, we've got what? The uh, Honda leading, we've got a Honda second, a Honda third, a Honda, Honda fourth. fourth. So I'm, so I'm looking actually for a, uh, Suzuki Harada. or a Yamaha to Harada. line it up a bit. And that's Harada, Harada in fifth place. Yes. Biaggi is going to want to get past number eight, Cardus, as quick as he can, because he doesn't want to uh, doesn't want Cardus to hang him up. Cardus didn't have a lot of uh, Grand Prix time last year. He had a lot of bad luck, broken bones, bad bikes, etc., etc. So Carlos Cardus won't have the sort of Grand Prix experience last year. He's a very experienced rider, but um, these you remember Biaggi at the last time Biaggi will get him going. Is this yes, got him? But Carlos is hard, and don't be surprised if Carlos comes back on the break. One thing he is, he's a tough, tough man, Ooh. is Carlos Cardus, and there you go. Yeah, there you go. Now look here, oh. youngster, you <laughs> might have you got go. past me on the straight, but I'm going to get you on the brakes going into the hairpin. Yeah, he's definitely a hard man, Kaczynski seven. Uh, John Kaczynski has come up on the screen, but well, I'm, I'm pleased to see that. We really don't want to see a potential world champion right out of it, right at the start, and now that'll be interesting to plot his progress through the field. Yeah, Kaczynski's got the quickest lap so far, so he's, he will be making ground on these guys, but he's did not leave himself a lot of work to do. 
at the front. Norris Caparossi still leads the way. Now you see here, um, Cardus was just a bit slower changing direction. You see now Biagi in front on the right hand side of your picture. He's pulling away an arm and a leg from Cardus. Now he's. Oh, oh now. who's the baller? Oh, it's 34. Boy. That's uh, uh, Louis Dancing. Louis Dancing. Yeah. Perfectly okay. Glad to relate. Max Biaggi now, now healing in. Loris Caparossi, a 19 year old Italian, a 21 year old Italian. They're, they're refreshing in Grand Prix racing, are they? Round the paddock like a couple of young lads having a good day out. But they oh. get out on these bikes and, well, look at them. Caparossi, double world champion. Biaggi, well, the sensation of the 250 class last year. First year in Grand Prix racing fifth in the championship, won the South African Grand Prix. Uh, I love to watch these Italians in action. Yeah, a great little bunch of blokes. You <laughs> talk to Caparossi's like the geezer that, to the kid that, for the paper shop that throws your papers over the fence. Now, let's have a look here. Viaggi's definitely ruling in, and you see Harada there on the right-hand side. That Yamaha is pretty quick. It'll be interesting just to watch going into the hairpin if Biaggi makes much ground on uh, Caparossi. Well, they're on lap four, of course. Biaggi looked after Irv Kanamoto, the man who looked after Eddie Lawson. Yes. Wade Gardner, Cadalora, all the top men, and a man who looked after you at one time. Yeah. He couldn't have a better teacher, could he? Oh, no, no, no doubt whatsoever. So at least his bike would be set up right. Looks to me as if Harada, number 31, is being held up by Cardus. And if he could just get past, which he will do over the top here, if he's brave enough, no, not quiet. And just behind, in fact, uh, Harada, you've caught glimpses of number 19, John Kaczynski. So Kaczynski's going to join in the fun. This has got the hallmarks of a great race. Uh, there's Harada, he's now got past the Cardus. And they're just in picture, number 19, John Kaczynski. He's joining, and that's the battle for the lead. And my golly, Biaggi really has pegged back Caparossi. Caparossi just grabbed pole position from him the final few minutes of the practice session yesterday. Biaggi led the way in the first practice session on Friday afternoon. Two Italians on Hondas, and really, that is just what they want to see. And a helmet bridle going well just behind John Kaczynski. So all the top men we really want to see there, barriers with four laps into this race, are there. Yeah, it's nice to see, uh, it's nice to see Brad up there again he hasn't had the best of luck i'm just interested to have a look uh, where kosinski is just at the back of this lot probably when we when we look down the straight we'll see kosinski at the back of this pack yes you just saw there was a white flash of right now biaggi should wow. just you must say that biaggi is very very quick down the straight isn't it? they're both on watch, orders, but biaggi oh. has got a bit more power he didn't didn't quite have enough chance then. He didn't quite get enough slips through. Now, what's going into the hairpin here? Yeah, he's got a good run out of there. No, I think you'll find that Caparossi, what you also got to bear in mind is Caparossi gets, ran a little bit wide there. I can't imagine he getting on a change of direction. Caparossi will always be a little bit more successful on the brakes. He's a little bit lighter than um, Biaggi. <laughs> that shakiness is just where you've got the bike set up so you can swap directions on it. It makes it very easy to swap directions like there, for example. But when you get the front end of it light, then it makes it shake a lot. It looks kind of dicky, but it's not. You know, it's not too bad. You get used to it. And I'd say that Harada in third place is closed right up on them, right in the Yamaha. And uh, perhaps we've overlooked him a little bit. Uh, We're riding with Harada. Oh, what a super shot. Look, right. that's Biaggi just in front of him. And in front of him, Caparossi in the lead. And, uh, well, we don't need to say he's yeah. catching up. You can see it riding right, with him. We, yeah, you see on the brakes. Harada, good on the brakes there. Be interested if we get one of these shots. Oh, yeah, he's good out of here, Harada. Now, what's the difference in the speed of the bike? Yeah, the Honda's got a little bit more horsepower out of there. Now, watch on the change direction. Good through here. Now, this is the important part. Let's see if he starts to catch BRG through here. Nice wide line, bring it back in now. Now, he'll pick up a slipstream if he's... Now, the Honda has just got a little bit extra power. But if we can follow him through this fast left-hander into the hairpin, it will be sensational. Then you'll see Harada on the brakes. Tilt your head to the right. Look how quick Harada is through here. Oh, he's made up 15, 20 yards on him there, and he's going to have a go at the inside, maybe. Not quite, but he's really a very, very good ride, rider, Harada. But you watch on the change of direction here. Just out of this, he stays wide. Now he'll get a chance to come back in tighter now, you see? Pretty shrewd, Harada. Not bad at all. He, he'll have a chance. Absolutely they... superb shots. And this, of course, is the battle for the lead. This isn't down the field. This is the At battle the inside, for the lead. Ah. Yes, got him on change of direction. That's... No, didn't get him. Oh, no. Uh, Kaczynski well, up in the fifth place oh, now. So fireworks are coming. There we go. Caparossi just in the lead. Behind him, Max Biaggi. And in third place, Harada. 
fabulous battle for the opening round of the World 250cc Championship. Luca Cadalora won the championship last year. He's gone. I'll be looking at a new potential world champion. We'll be certainly looking at a potential race winner. But Arada's running a tremendous race in third place. Yeah, he's got some nice lines into the uh, into some of the corners. It just takes a little bit wider line than uh, the RG. As you see, now watch through here. He comes in good. Changes direction nice. Now he goes a little bit wider here. Oh, Diaggi's doing it now. And then brings it right back in now. You see, he just starts to gain on him. On Biaggi. Right, now, man, this is... Now, they come. Now, Absolutely right. Oh, yes, Harada. I don't think he's got the speed to do it through here, but he'll do it on the way out of it. Now, he's quicker through here than Biaggi. Now, watch. Whoa. Should just... Not quite close enough. Just sad that he's not quite close enough to get him on the brakes. But uh, uh, no, Biaggi's having oh, a go. Biaggi oh, Biaggi nearly touched. Oh, yeah. He touched the rear wheel. I think he touched uh, um, Caparossi's rear wheel then. Oh, these two young Italians really having a battle at the front. And we're getting a bird's eye view with Arada. So Caparossi still oh, leads. Here we go again. Yes. Just look. Feel the gauge kind of thing. You know, he just touched his wheel. And you can just say that he's very, very lucky to get away with that because you only need a little touch on the front wheel. You touch somebody else's back wheel and now it'll probably take Biaggi a couple of laps to get his heart rate back down to, to normal again and to sort of be able to get back into the stride of things. And it looks like John Gazinski to me is now up into fourth place and closing on these two. I just caught a glimpse of number 19, the Suzuki. John Gazinski now up into fourth place. Oh, what a fabulous race what a this battle. is. Caparossi leads, yes. Biaggi in second place, Harada in third place, and John Kaczynski, many people's favourite for the 1993 Championship, now up into fourth place. Oh, fabulous stuff. Yeah, for sure Kaczynski is going to catch this lot without any shadow of a doubt and be up the front of them. There he is on your left-hand side of the picture, the white, the white bike. And what we've got to bear in mind, he's got bags and bags and bags of laps. And look, there he is at the top of the shot there. You'd say, what, another three laps, he'll be right up with them. And there's Kaczynski won the 250cc championship in 1990, went to the 500cc class, come back now on a 250, and Arana has he got Biaggi, he has this time, surely on the no, break. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> just ran a little bit on the wide side then. You seem to know a lot more about this than me, Barry, when it gets to the close pits. Oh, this is, I love this shot, this is great. This really gives you a good idea of what it's like, you think, OK, right now, if I get a nice wide bit out here, going a little bit late, now get on the power early, and you should see him catch him up a bit now. And now I'll try and get him on the inside. As he changes direction, it's... Uh, this is exactly what it's like to follow someone. That's exactly the view you got. Certainly, if Caparossi didn't know Piaggi was close behind him, he felt him at the hairpin the previous lap, didn't he, when he touched his back wheel. Again with Hirada, Caparossi and Piaggi in front of him. And I got a feeling in a minute he's staying with the yeah. shot. A certain number 19. Yeah, you're going to come shooting up the inside in a minute because Kaczynski is closing on him. Yes, and the first four now exactly the same as grid order. So it's Caparossi who was in pole position. Biaggi was second fastest. Arana third and Kaczynski fourth, so it couldn't be better. So the mess up at the start is now all forgotten. A fabulous opener to the 250cc championship. We said that probably it was going to be the most competitive ever World 250cc Championship. Well, if this is a taste of what's to come, oh, look stuff. at this. And look at them down the straight. Whoa. Oh, they almost touch a Biaggi now leads. Biaggi leads. Caparossi in second place. Arada in third. Can Biaggi hang in? No, you watch Arada out of this. Watch. Watch Arada. Watch Arada. Biaggi's done Ooh. him again. Oh, oh. Biaggi leads. Caparossi second. Harada third. And he just caught a glimpse of John Kaczynski. Yeah, he but he wants to join in the fun. All right. It's not going to be any fun when he gets... Oh, look, he's just thrown his rip up off then. You see, just in the top frame, you saw something look like it fell off the since his bike. It was just his tear off visor. And of course, while they do this, the three in front of uh, Kaczynski, they're slowing themselves up, aren't they? And letting Kaczynski claw them back and join in. You were saying it's all forgotten, the bad start. I bet one bloke hasn't forgotten his Kaczynski. I bet he's kicking himself because he'll have had to have ridden so hard. He's made every single lap has been faster than anyone else's. Now he's got the problems of getting past these three men in front of him. They're not going to make life uh, easy for him, are well, they? Well, they're not. 
they're not, but uh, Kaczynski is, uh, when he wants to get past, he gets past, you watch. So, eight laps gone, in fact, now nine laps gone of this fantastic 250cc race here at Eastern Creek. Max Biaggi, the Italian lead. Another Italian, Loris Caparossi in second place. Harada, the Japanese rider, in third place. And in fourth place, and right with the pack now, we have number 19, John Kaczynski. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Now, watch Kaczynski's bike. See if you see the horsepower of Kaczynski's bike. It's much slower than it looks. Still slow, but it's, uh, it's got the mid-range power, so he shouldn't be too bad off. Caparossi and Harada really exchanging blows almost as they go down. To... Oh, Yo! what a shot! Great! Oh, not quite I think close Triagi's enough. I has got the advantage here. Yeah, Caparossi on the brakes. Harada going a little bit wide there. Now, Barry, I would have thought, as a labour, the best place to be there is up the inside, but they tend to pull to the outside, then pull across. Well, you have to, because if, you, if you're braking as late as you can, you've got to use as much road as you can to get round there. And if you took the sort of middle of the road plant, you'd just drift out so wide on the way out that people would get up the inside of you. Oh, let's ride with Harada again. That's Caparossi right in front of him, and you can just get a glimpse of the leader, Max Biaggi, and Arana climbing all over the back wheel of Loris Caparossi's Honda, but Great right shot. behind him any moment now, I'm sure, when we're on board, we're going to see John Gazinski come up alongside. Yeah, just watch Kaczynski, oh, I was say for that shot, you watch Kaczynski, it's pretty good on the brakes, Kaczynski. So watch here, see if anything, so you see someone up here, no, nope, didn't get him there. Caparossi, the old scarf flapping in the wind That's there. great, isn't it? What a uh, race. Yes, I'm here, chaps, right behind you. Biaggi, Caparossi, Harada and Kaczynski. Probably the four top 250cc riders in the world at the moment. As I say, we expected some fireworks, but this is a superb race. No, we've just got to watch. Oh, it's the little... Don't worry about that shake, it's nothing. Kaczynski, to you, yeah, Kaczynski is going to struggle if it's as close as this on the last lap because they're going to be able to outgun him to the start line. So if Kaczynski gets ahead of this lot, he's going to want to pull out. Oh, it's very wide there. Ah, they're coming either side of him. Now, here's Barry's braking theory. Works absolutely perfect for Caparossi. And Biaggi wanted to get oh, back. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. They forced Kaczynski wide. Oh, I'm not going to be happy, is well, he? Well, no, I, don't. I think you'll find Kaczynski was very, very close to the back end of uh, Harada's bike then. Caparossi now leads. Biaggi in second place. Harada third. John Kaczynski fourth. And well, that was the perfect illustration, Barry. Exactly what you told me. Yeah, Here we go. Watch, 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 watch. Yes, Harada picked it up. Harada picked it up, and that totally put Kaczynski off, and that made Kaczynski run wide, you see, because he thought Harada was going to pick it right up, in which case Kaczynski wouldn't have had anywhere to go except on the dirt. So Caparossi leads. In second place, we have... Uh, from Max Biaggi, Harada. third place, Harada, he's having a go now at Biaggi. Oh, the opening laps have been very dramatic. We'll be back very shortly with all the excitement for this tremendous 250cc Grand Prix. Caparossi <laughs> still leads the way, lap 13 of 28, Harada in second place. John Kaczynski now up into third place, Max Biaggi fourth. If you blink, you miss some of the action. Oh, Harada, Harada, what a move. Now, that is sensational. You, do, you Don't forget how good Caparossi is, you know. To do that to Caparossi, you have got to have it together. Oh, Tetsu Harada leads the way. Loris Caparossi relegated to second place. John Kaczynski up into third. And Max Biaggi, who led the race briefly, now relegated to fourth. Barry, who's it going to be? Ah, oh, well, I'll give it a go later on, but I tell you what's interesting about this, this is tyre wars, because two of these guys, um, Harada and Loris Caparossi are on Dunlops, and John Kosinski and Max Biaggi are on Michelin's. So it's going to be really intriguing to see towards the end of the race how the tyres sort of start sliding around of that. The ones that start getting the sideways first, First person you see have a big slide, I'll tell you what tyres they're on and then we can get a rough... The Biaggi having a go at Kaczynski? Kaczynski's going to be livid when he gets in this. Like, this thing just ain't quick enough. That's right, well, Amongst other words. Absolutely there that he's got the pace to get past Kaczynski on the straight, but Kaczynski fighting his way back round the outside. Now, who's got the advantage there, Kaczynski? Yes. When Kaczynski gets the needle, he gets the needle. Oh, he's, there. He's, he's certainly got the needle at Ooh. the moment. A dreadful start. He's been bashed about a little bit, hasn't he? And then probably the top speed of the Suzuki, not quite matching that of the hard half. Oh, he's going to ride so, so hard. Way. 
Well, if the second half is as good as the first half, we are in for a superb race. Probably one of the best races we've ever seen at Eastern Creek and at the Australian Grand Prix. Japanese rider, number 31, Tetsuo Harada, leads the way. In second place, number 65, 125 CC world champion on two occasions, Loris Caparossi. Then number 19, John Kaczynski, the world 250 CC champion in 1990, and bringing up the rear of this group. Number five, Max Biaggi, the 21 year old Italian, replacing world champion Luca Cadalora in the Honda team. What a combination. I was watching the back of Caparossi's bike then. Caparossi's bike started to slide around a little bit on the back end. And you've got to hand it to Yamaha's, uh, the leading bike here, Harada's bike, because really last year it was a bit of an embarrassment. It just wasn't that quick. They've done a lot of work over the winter, and now they certainly got the thing going. You know, they've got it handling good. It goes, it's it's um, power-wise, it's certainly not out of the ballpark. Now watch Biaggi out of this lot. He should get quite a good draft out of this. He's not quite... Oh, because... Oh, dear. Look oh, at Harada. Harada. What? Harada. Kaparos is on the inside of him. Oh, and Kaczynski did have a go. got a lot of them. Oh! oh. It was, it's Kaparossi leads. Kaczynski in second place. Harada third. And Biaggi fourth. But Kaczynski now beginning to show his hand. Yeah, he's... See how close he gets through this, this little section here. There's a possibility of diving out. Do you remember where Harada got Caparossi? Yeah. But he's, he's nowhere near close enough. But Harada could do that the same as Kaczynski. Harada's close enough to do it to Kaczynski. I think many people, I think John Kaczynski felt perhaps he would have quite an easy ride coming back to the 250s. But uh, these young lads <laughs> have shown him that uh, Ooh, no man. way you could be a world champion are you guaranteed success when you come back. Getting amongst the back markers now. Well, that could be very interesting indeed if they start getting it amongst packs of those. It's closing. That's Harada. That's Kaczynski just in front of him. And that's Caparossi leading the way. But Harada's gone round the outside. No, he's and that's Kaczynski. And look, that's Loris Caparossi just behind him. 31 is Harada. Max Biaggi behind him. And would you believe it? I think Dariano Romboni and, Romboni. and Carlos Cardus yeah. are both closing on the leading pack. It's a four man battle yeah. at the moment. But it, that's become a, a six-man battle. Yeah, that's a Aoki. I don't think it's Cardus. But it'd uh, be good for Romboni if he gets up there because he's another young charger. And uh, yes, it they're definitely Aoki. catching him. Look at Harada around this left-hander. is absolutely sensational. Now, it's going to take the lead. I'm sure he's going to take the lead for the first time. Yes, Yay! he is. John Kaczynski Whoa. leads, Loris Caparossi second, Arada third, Max Biaggi fourth. Now, can Kaczynski pull away? Now you're going to see Loris Caparossi now really pull out everything he can. You know, he's young, he's a charge, he's learned his trade in the 125 class, and he's just so bright for a 19-year-old kid that's twice world champion. Listening to him talking to his engineer and that, you know, he's got the head of a 30-year-old on him. So I, you know, he's, gonna, he's not going to... Oh! Back end of Kaczynski's bike. That's the Michelin there. Star. So Kaczynski's giving it everything he can now to try and make a break. And that is the only way it's going to make life easy for him. But I can't imagine well, that he can pull out a lot on these guys. Full marks to Caparossi because I think you're so right. Kaczynski now is going to get his head down and go for it. But Caparossi has decided he's going to cling to that rear wheel. Probably not make a move, but just make sure Kaczynski doesn't open up that advantage. They're on their 16th lap and uh, full marks to Caparossi, but full marks to Kaczynski. He made a dreadful start. I mean, he almost stalled it at the start. He was way down the field. He's fought his way back in tremendous fashion. You see, Kaczynski getting in the lead, he's just had a little look over his shoulder. He's like what he's seen because when he looked round, Caparossi was about another bike length further than he is now. But you watch this down the straight, it's going to needle Kaczynski so bad if they pass him down the straight. Now watch. The moment of truth. Ah, oh, look, and, and Caparossi yeah. looked at Kaczynski then, right. as if to well, say, I've can, got no chance. I can tell you that if it's a last lap, if it's a last lap like that, then Caparossi's going to get it because Caparossi's got the horsepower and he got him just about eight, nine feet before the line. So Kaczynski now knows that up the inside again. So Kaczynski knows that and he knows what he's got to do. He has got to go absolutely flat straps to try and pull out any kind of distance. But in doing that, oh, never. In doing that, you can sort of outride yourself, try too hard, go straight on or get a big sideways and completely wreck it. Oh, oh no! Oh, dear, oh, dear. I think that was Harada almost went. He touched the yeah. rear wheel of John Kaczynski. Harada almost went. 
Kaczynski still leads, Caparossi second, oh. Biaggi third, and Ron Boney now coming up into fourth. We haven't spoken about Ron Boney, but he's oh, there. Oh, he's right there. He's on the way up. Now, watch this. Watch. See there, Harada having a go. Totally committed. Bangs into the back of Caparossi, but makes a really miraculous job of collecting it all together. And he stayed on the power. You saw the back end of the bike come round, and Ron Boney's dipped up there now, so we're in for a right old thing. Because he's, he's thinking, I wonder if anybody went down in that. I wonder if there's still the same people chasing. He must be a bit disappointed when he looks behind, and there's still Caparossi right behind him. <laughs> Now you see the back end of Kaczynski's bike really drifting now, so he's, Kaczynski's absolutely hard as he can go. Look at Romboni, Romboni's past Arada. So don't forget Romboni, Romboni, Caparossi and Biaggi are all the flavour of the month in Italy. Oh look, Aoki up in there. <laughs> that is oh, what a fabulous 250cc race. They're on their 18th lap. John Kaczynski still leads that right with Arada. Now watch, watch, watch. Trying to get up the inside of Caparossi on the change of direction. Okay, now watch the right of your camera, right of the bike here. Look, watch, bang! Now that looked like it was, from that angle, looks like it was Caparossi's fault. Totally innocent Caparossi, it was completely Harada's fault. He tried to get through a hole that didn't exist. I hope they're not gonna be using video evidence later on, Barry, like they do in the rugby No, league. that was great, you know, <laughs> it was good. That's motorbike racing, it wasn't, uh, it was Harada trying to get up. That's what it's all about. You're trying to get past the guy in front of you, and he, he didn't do anything silly there. That, that's just racing. Kaczynski's not doing it, is he? He's trying to pull away, but Caparossi's glued to his back wheel. It won't please the American, will it? No, I'm just looking, though, but Harada's back in front of Romboni now, and they're dropping... Whoa, and why can you get Caparossi? And this is Caparossi, as you so rightly said. He's proved on the straight, and he looked at John Kaczynski, I'm sure, when they went down the straight, and almost said to him, well, you've got to be a long way in front of you are going to win this race, because I've just got that extra horsepower. And Kaczynski is trying all he knows to pull away from him, number yeah. 19. Yeah, this is interesting. You watch and see the distance that Kaczynski... Wow! Oh, Caparossi's gone. He's Caparossi has disappeared. Ah, yeah. We've lost Caparossi. Dear, oh, dear, dear, oh, dear. He's, he's well, it's John Kaczynski leading the way. Uh, We've lost Lawrence Caparossi. But what a race it is for the Australian 250cc Grand Prix. We'll be back for the finish in just a moment. Oh, does make some ground. He's round this fast left-hander down here. But he ain't... Oh, quick through there. But he's not... Now watch this, this is all out. Well, I think Kaczynski's gonna do it. I can't see Harada can get now. Kaczynski will have a little look. Yeah, there you go. And uh, now watch through here. Harada's got to make a good job of this if he wants to do it. I'm not so sure. He's closer than he has been on previous laps. Yes, now what? It, He's just not close enough. Yes, he... No. I oh. don't know, I don't know. I think Arada is going to do it. We're yes, he's yes. done it! Whoa! Oh, what a ride! Good, great Tetsuo thinking. Tetsuo Arada has done it! Yeah, now that he's is the... John Kaczynski on the line. That is the way to ride a Grand Prix, you know. He knew that's where he had to do him. And he made a good job of the left-handers. And you've got to hand it to him. He deserved that race. You know, nobody can uh, say... We thought that he'd gone, didn't we? Look at that. 0 0.07 yeah, of a second he's won the race well celebration time in the Yamaha camp and why not look at this Max look. Biaggi in third place a car uh, in fourth there we are look now how close is that we'll look at the right at the white line coming up on the right hand side John now, Kaczynski knew exactly was what was going to happen wasn't he because he tried to pull and push his way well around. he knew that but he couldn't do that you know that's just not so uh, not cricket sort of thing, and Harada rode that perfectly. Kaczynski was going as quick as he could. Harada judged that to perfection. Well, Barry, we said at the beginning of this race that the 250cc class was going to provide some great racing. Watch this, oh, watch, watch. Here we are, right we ride the with the man. Team. And he just, he made a brilliant job of that, Harada. Absolutely brilliant. You know, don't forget, all he needed was to have been three feet further behind coming around those three left-handers, and he would have never done it because he couldn't pick up the slipstream properly. Well, what a 250cc race. Tetsuo Harada pips John Kaczynski on the line. We'll be back for the build-up to the 500cc Australian Grand Prix. Stay with us. Oh, the man of the moment, Tetsuo Harada, the winner of the 250cc Australian Grand Prix. We've seen some great races at Eastern Creek, Barry. I think that was the best. 
Yeah, you'd have to say it was the best. He absolutely used his brain spot on, you know. You've got to hand it to the guy, because he was certainly tired, but he thought, well, hang on a minute, look, I've got four or five laps to go, and he found that, now watch this, good slipstream, Kaczynski trying to shake him out of it, and that was the worst thing that Kaczynski could have done, was pull to the right, but you don't know that until it's too late, you know. If you just stay where you are, you think, oh, wobble from one side of the track to the other, get him out of the slipstream. Everybody does it, but uh, a great, sensational from Harada, and I think it's really nice for a Jap Japanese guy to, to win a race, absolutely win it outright, without any excuses or anything. That is uh, what it's... Look at that. No, Kaczynski made a mistake, you think? Well, watch where he comes to the right. Comes to the right, Harada just keeps going, because that uses energy going to the right. Yeah, Harada... Absolutely yeah. in a straight line, isn't he? Yeah. He's losing exactly. no speed at all. But Kaczynski, by that manoeuvre, surely he's going to lose whatever it is, such a small amount of speed, but the speed that probably lost him the race. Yeah, but you try and shake somebody out of your slipstream, you know, look, there he is there. Well, there we are. Harada celebrates Tetsuo Harada <laughs> from Japan. And well, that picture says it all. On the right, John Kaczynski, not looking quite as happy as the man that's won the race. No, well, it's, there's nothing worse than getting beaten right in the last little last gasp to the line you're, you're leading you see the line 50 meters away and then you get 10 meters away and the guy comes past you there's nothing you can do about it and, and max biaggi in third place replacing luca cadalora and kanamoto's on the team well he was on the pace for a long time but when it really came to it he dropped back well you have to say he got smoked didn't he there was no doubt about it you know i'm still convinced that if cavarossi hadn't have uh, lost the front end of his bike he would have still been up uh, with kasinski and Arada. What is significant there, it's Yamaha winner in the middle, it's a Suzuki on the left-hand side and a Honda on the right-hand side, and that's fabulous. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Celebration time in the Yamaha team. And uh, that's their return to Grand Prix racing in the 250cc class. Well, you get no, no better return than that. Now, let's, he hasn't won any Grand Prix racing. No, let's, see how he, let's see what he's going to do with the champagne. Probably doesn't drink it. Probably, <laughs> probably no. Uh, orange juice normally. Yeah. Ah, oh, there we are. That's Arada. What a win for him. Great celebrations in the uh, turn right well. Really, it's been a great race so far. The 250cc race, one of the greatest races we've ever seen at Eastern Creek. What's going to happen for the 500s? Stay with us. Stay with us from Australia because all the action is still to come. Welcome back, and what a fabulous 250cc race we've just seen with uh, Tetsuo Harada taking it out just uh, by a bike length from John Kaczynski. It was fabulous uh, bike riding. Coming up shortly, the starter will send the field on its way in the 1993 Australian 500cc Grand Prix. What will the riders experience as they hurdle around this Eastern Creek layout? Let's ride pillion with Australia's Darrell Beatty on his Honda.
and that's a ride around Eastern Creek with Daryl Beatty on the Honda, and you see the sticker there, hello mum. One guess, yeah, Barry Sheen, had to be. Well, we're just minutes away from the start of the big one, don't you dare touch that dial. We'll be back right after the break. Only two hours. Motorbiking here at Eastern Creek, and what a terrific 250cc race we have just witnessed. John Kosinski just pipped on the post, and here's how he talked about that particular uh, incident right after the race. Uh, the start, what went wrong at the start? Yeah, I don't, you know, I think that uh, we need to seriously review those start rules. I seen three of the 125 guys on the front row jump the start, and uh, no, nothing was penalized. It's just you know what kind of what kind of show are we at you know and that's what's real frustrating and and uh i did the same thing they did except you know, i just slammed the brake on to keep the, my back wheel from going across the line and and uh you know i just i just got a bad start i mean i messed up i made a mistake but uh i think the rules are kind of funny something to be looked into there john obviously also too i would <clears throat> like to of course thank suzuki is for coming you know and giving me a bike that i could you know ride like i did today and thank my team and of course, I don't think I could have been there without those Michelin tires. They were, I think they kept us in there the whole race. And I thank my girlfriend, Toti, for keeping me as determined as ever and probably keeping me in racing. Okay, John, thanks a lot. Well, quickly on to you, to Max Biagi, third today. Uh, now, Max, you did say to me before the race that you would be happy just uh, really to make the podium today. Your, your, your intention was to try and get in the top three. You did that, but are you still happy with third place? Yes, I think Max is probably just um, mulling over that particular question, but he would be happy with third place. First would have been a lot better. But right now, uh, to pick up uh, what John kosinski has been talking about, that uh, bad race start, his Darrell East Lake with Barry Sheen. Yeah, thank you, Kenny. Well, I have been talking to the IOTA people about this, and uh, they were saying, Barry, that they are not concerned about where the front wheel of the bike is placed. They're concerned about the rear wheel. I asked them about holding them so long. They claim both starts have been A-OK, -okay, but the riders are not happy. Well, I don't care what they're concerned about. As far as I'm concerned, both the starts were lousy, and the only mistake that Kosinski made was he didn't cheat. You know, that was in a nutshell, because he was watching everybody else sort of creeping and that, and it's nonsense to say they're only interested in the back wheels. How comes everybody's looking at it, everybody's saying the same thing, and only the uh, Erta are saying, no, that's OK. You know, they've got to get down there and talk to people and have a go at them. Well, the one good thing about it all, of course, is the 500 riders have had a good look at both starts, so they will be prepared for it. Kevin